Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem a cricket tournament of February circuits 2022 okay so yeah before moving on to discuss this problem so let me tell you about the like basic concepts that is being required to solve this problem efficiently it's like uh, you need to know the greedy algorithms and some sorting algorithms to find out the answer efficiently like we are going to use the sorting uh, technique to sort an array and also greedy approach is also being required to solve this problem uh, right okay so let's begin so let me read out the problem once in a cricket tournament and matches are supposed to be played between Bob and James Basically, we would be given two arrays A and B. Array A represents the energy levels of Bob and array B represents the energy levels of James. And both arrays are of same size. Now, there will be N matches that will be played between Bob and James. For the ith match, the energy level at the ith index is compared of both. The winner of ith match will be the one whose energy level at that index is higher. So uh, basically the two arrays are going to represent the energy level of the Bob and James and if at a particular index if uh, some person let's say Bob has a strictly higher uh, energy than the James at that index energy level of the person James at that index then the Bob will go will be winning that match otherwise uh, 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 James will be winning the match if the James has a higher energy than the Bob. Note that the strictly higher term should come over here. Now if Bob wins the ith match then the energy level difference between the ith level of both will be added to his score. Else his score remains the same. Okay so there is one more uh, point that is being added over here is uh, suppose Bob wins the game then Bob is going to gain the number of scores like Bob's score will, will be incremented by the absolute value of the difference between the you can see the Bob's level and energy level uh, yeah you can see this term uh, difference between the energy level of this Bob and this uh, uh, person James and Bob wants to maximize his score by changing his energy levels so Bob can basically permute the array uh, find out the permutation of this array in any order that he wants and we need to find out the maximum score that Bob can make so you can see the constraints are around 10 raised to the power 5 and the energy level so it's maximum 10 raised to the power 6 so we need to find an efficient solution, efficient way to for solve this problem efficiently. So suppose uh, this is the energy data of the Bob. And suppose uh, another data is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this data is for James. Right. Now the uh, what we need to do in this problem is uh, Bob can rearrange the array any and like in any format that he wants and uh, Bob wants to maximize the score that he can get maximum score and what is the uh, score score defined over here so the score defined over here is uh, let's say okay so score of like uh, score for index i is defined over here is max of 0 comma score of bob at the ith index minus score of james at the ith index okay now why i am writing this term because you know uh, like uh, when Bob will rearrange the array like the array that has been given to Bob in any order that Bob wants okay now when we compare the values at the specific indexes let's say we are at this one and this one 
so this is actually b2 and this is actually j2 let's say b and j are the arrays now uh, bob score will be incremented only and only when b2 is going to be strictly greater than j2 right and what if b2 is less than j2 then uh, it is not going to happen like bob's code will be incremented by some negative value let's say minus 2 it is not going to be possible because according to the problem statement if the bob's score like if the bob will be losing a certain match then its, its score will remain same right so if b2 is strictly less than j2 then our answer like score of i you can see it will be uh, you can see uh, we are going to take max of 0 and some negative number if bob is going to lose the match in that case the score will be uh, added will be 0 which handles that case okay right so what is the main greedy approach to uh, solve this problem what is the main idea how we are going to permute the given array bob array of bob such that uh, this is code total score is going to be maximized okay so let me just erase it out and ex try to explain how the things are going to work so uh, let me write down a1 a2 and a3 let's just suppose for a 3 element array and we have a b1 b2 also and we have a b3 also now uh, this is for bob and this is for james right now we need to let's say we are going to write down the scores like uh, this is the final array like bob has uh, already rearranged all the elements of this uh, original array and this is the final array so we need to maximize the score so what is the term that we are going to write so let's write down the each score like uh, score at every index first and then we are going to determine what are the statements that will come out okay so uh, we are going to write down the scores as a1 minus b1 okay so let's say max of uh, 0 comma a1 minus b1 plus max of again you can see uh, 0 comma a2 minus b2 and again max of this last term right now uh, you can see uh, we need to uh, to maximize the overall score you must uh, increment you must have the value a1 minus b1 as large as possible so what are the sequence of steps that you need to follow so what you are going to do is like you need to keep bi that is b1 as minimum as possible and a1 as as maximum as possible okay so the sequence of steps that you are going to use is extract the maximum element from this array of bob let's say the maximum element is a1 and extract the minimum element of the in the array of james let's call this as b1 when you will uh, place a1 over the place of b1 index like b1 is present at index 0 when you will place a1 at this position at index 0 then your score will be incremented by a1 minus b1 and this is the maximum score that you can get in one step right because a1 is the maximum element of the array of bob and b1 is the minimum element of the array of bob so when you will subtract the value you will get the very maximum element okay so this is the one of the way you can put an element a1 over the place at the index of b1 right now what are the next step like this index is consumed this index is consumed now again you are going to do the same process extract the maximum element from the array of bob let's call this as a3 and extract the minimum element among b2 and b3 
let's call this as b3 so when you will subtract it you will get again the next second maximum element because a3 is the second maximum element and b3 is the second minimum element also you need to place a3 over the place of b3 to get this as the result right and like the same step will be followed again and again so uh, this can be efficiently handled by sorting the arrays of bob and james in a reverse manner so what i'm going to do is like uh, uh, sort array of james uh, let's say array of bob first in decreasing order uh, you can also write non increasing order sort array of bob in non increasing order and sort array of james in increasing order uh, not calling it as increasing order in non decreasing order because some elements may be same non decreasing order so when we are done by this one you can see we have the array a1 a2 a3 let's say and we have the array b1 b2 and b3 now uh, b1 will contain the minimum element and a1 will contain maximum element b2 will contain minimum second minimum a2 will contain second maximum and this is a3 contains the third maximum b3 contains third minimum of the array james of the array bob respectively okay so uh, when you need to find out all the scores you will just do simply max of 0 comma a1 minus b1 plus max of again 0 comma a2 minus b2 and again plus max of the last term and this will be your answer so let's uh, check it out how we can implement all that efficiently uh, I hope my screen is visible ok so no need to worry about so I have taken an array of Bob and James you can see uh, yeah this will be the input and I have uh, you can see sorted the array of Bob in non increasing order and array of James in non decreasing order ok so our score is max of 0 comma Bob of i minus James of i because there might be some games like Bob is going to lose in that case we need to keep the score as it is that's why I have taken max of 0 comma this one and finally print the score this will give you all test cases passed ok you can see all the test cases has been passed so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video